How to make money with a dog grooming business in three easy steps. Now if you shop through any of the links in the video description below, I will get a commission at no extra cost to you. Thank you. We'll help the channel and so we'll subscribe to it. So how do you make your money? Grooming dogs in three easy steps. For me, I find very, very easy. I've groomed dogs for over 30 years. I don't find dog grooming easy. I find it actually quite hard work, physical hard work. But over the years working with dogs, not just dog grooming, I've made well over a million pounds. I've not got a million pounds sat in the bank. A lot of that going into it within dog businesses and stuff to pay for and all sorts. But I do know I can make money grooming dogs. Which when I came here six years ago is exactly what I knew. And the three steps, which is I need dogs to groom, I need to listen to the owners, and I needed to create an online online presence. So you need dogs to groom. If you want to make money at dog grooming, you need dogs to walk through the door in your dog grooming business. And for me, I'm going to pull them on the table and groom the dogs and take money from the owners. And I'm going to keep the dog coming back, probably potentially for the rest of the dog's life, by keeping the owner happy, which is number two. I'm going to keep the owner happy, not people please, two different things. You keep the owner happy by listening to what the owner wants. What would you like doing with your dog? It's not your dog, it's their dog. Whatever you've been taught for grooming, now this dog is different. Every single dog that walks through the door and every owner will have their own idea of how they want their dog to look. Some people don't know what would you like doing with your dog. Some people, a lot of people will buy a dog off a photo. They don't know what breed they want. They'll have a good look round. The internet now, books, they really, really, really want that diet type of dog. We don't actually realise the coat grows and the dog has to be styled. So they've got this dog, what they think, and now it looks nothing like what they actually bought or what they thought they'd bought. Do you want your dog looking like you thought it would? Do you want it shorter, longer? You really have got to ask them, and I say a lot of people don't know. They know what they bought and what they wanted, but it's your job to work out what they want. And by doing that, the owners are going to keep coming back. Keep coming back because they trust you. They trust you're going to give them what they want. And as I say, potentially, that dog could come back for the rest of its life. Unless they move away, or something happens. But what will happen, they are really happy with you as a groomer. If something does happen, sadly, the dog's going to die at some point. And they're going to buy another puppy. They'll bring the puppy back to you and start again. That is how you know, make money with a dog grooming business. And in today's day, in the year 2020, whatever we are, most people need, most people with a business, need to create an online presence of some kind. So the contact details are online and people can actually find their services online. Gone are the days in the 90s, I'm not that old, I'm 49 tomorrow, 48 years old at the moment. But when I started my dog grooming business, 30 odd years ago, in the 90s, best years they were, the 1990s, what we used to do, or what I used to do, what the businesses did, the electrician, the plumber, local services, they'd have professionally made business cards. Well, I made my own on a postcard. Dog grooming service, Rebecca, I had a little business name, drew my own logo on it, my phone number. They go around the news agent, the post office, the local supermarket, anywhere where they had a board. And these shops would make money out of the boards and the local businesses would pin their little business cards or like that the post card. Well, if you've got something for sale, you're going to put it on there for 20p a week. You know, like, I've got a fridge for sale, <laughs> whatever you want. And people would actually look at that board when they went to the shop because people don't even go to the shops nowadays, do they? And I got my first dogs from my first dog grooming business in the 90s through my own handmade postcards, what I put in these local shops to bring local people to my business. I say we're in the year 2020 now, aren't we? 2024 at the moment. When I started this six years ago, I had some nice leaflets made. And I thought, what? Years ago, when I set up my dog grooming business, I actually 
actually went and put some stuff around the shop. I might as well do it, put one in the post office, put one in any board. I went around the shops if you got a board. Nothing. Absolutely nothing came from that. I did have my website. And I had no docs whatsoever. Nothing. Now I cannot make money, I cannot make a lot of money, if I've actually got no docs coming in. So I had to work on that online presence I'd created. There's a video up there. 10 minute video, the video at the uh, website I made, which has actually got a few instructions, SEO, search engine optimization. How Google's gonna read your website, what you've put on it, basically, and say, hey, huh, is that what you're looking for? Is that what you are looking for? The person searching for dog grooming in their local area, it popped up in front of the face. And what it did, or what I didn't have to do, I didn't have to charge half price, I didn't have to steal any dogs from any other groomers, what it did is it brought in people who just bought a new dog, who'd never had a dog before. I was basically looking for a dog groomer. People who had moved to the area, poof, land on my website, ring me. That did its job amazing. And what I had to do was keep the people happy coming in and back, going backwards and forwards every six, eight weeks with the dog. That's as simple as it is to what happened six years ago which is why I'm still studying here six years later, grooming dogs and making money from grooming the dogs. That really is as simple as it is. I was saying, you need to be able to groom. Now, that is it for how to make money grooming dogs. I'm gonna give you a few little things of what's happened over the years. So yeah, 1990s, I went on an animal care, left school, 16 years old, animal care, kennel and cattery management course, and it was actually a residential course for three years. And on the second year, you could take dog grooming, which I fancied doing. And the mum, I think she liked the idea I was going to the college because I think she actually wanted to do what I was doing and went on a dog grooming course herself. She bought one for six weeks and the lady who taught the dog grooming, my mum was her first student, she was amazing at grooming and her name was Michelle. And she decided to start grooming, training, grooming training and it was my two weeks holiday from college and what I did, because it was a case of you coming with us, like it or not, you know, coming on the course, because I'm going to do this course and it's the holidays, you know, they're going to be bored, or as I knew I was going to be doing dog grooming the following year, I watched, I swept the floor, I got the dogs, she had American Cockers, American Cocker Spaniels, full coat, they were lovely dogs, she didn't show them but they were nice dogs, watched, learnt, did anything I could for free, and I picked up absolutely loads in those two weeks from Michelle for free. And Michelle had been, she'd only been grooming a year and so she was that good at it, she decided she would do courses. Within that first year of grooming, she bought herself a brand new Vitar, a Suzuki Vitara convertible, big wide wheels, black it was. And I looked at that and thought, well, you haven't done so bad, have you? You know, a year of working, you have bought yourself a convertible, convertible Jeep. My mum went and, well I'm a college, I'm a residential college. My mum's learned how to groom through Michelle, going on the course. And I got home from college one weekend, because I say it was residential, so you could stay there at the weekend if you want. And when I got upstairs, <laughs> and said, where's my stuff gone? Where's all my stuff gone? Basically what my mum had done is turned my bedroom into the grooming room for herself. She was using the bath in the house and she was using my bedroom. What she'd gone and done is bought what you call a captain's bed. Well, she goes, well, you've got a desk, your stuff's in the wardrobe bit, and you can sleep up there, because you're not here very often anyway. So, and I've got nowhere else to do the grooming, I'm going to do it in my bedroom. So, it was pretty much nothing more than like sleeping in the pleat, pleat pit in this room. But, if you were thinking of starting up, you do not need to go and get a salon. You can do it in a shed, you can do it in a garage. Michelle was actually teaching people in a house. She had a dining room, which was to finish the dogs in the uh, dining room, she had a great big circular grooming table, what spun round as well. Upstairs bedroom for grip, cutting the dogs as well, getting them ready for the bath, and used her own bath. She was doing fine, she bought a new jeep after a year. My mum was using my bedroom while I was there, didn't take long till once I learned how to drive, I went to live at my dad's house. The problem is my dad's house was haunted. I really was. I mean, my dad don't believe in stuff like that, but he even knows it was haunted there. And then, well, I've got a video up there. 
200 quid. Well, I started my dog grooming business. I got my mum back. I set up my dog grooming business and I had a bathroom. Rip the bathroom doing that. But you, you really don't need loads of money to set up your dog grooming business. Not a lot at all. To get started, to get the experience. Because what you find with people, number two, the most important, once you've got your dogs in, people's emotions run high. Very, very high when it comes to dogs. I, you know, I really have made a million pound working with dogs. I said, I don't mean I've got it, but I made it. How many owners do you think I've dealt with doing that? Emotions run high. Very, very, very high. Either very high, happy, or very low. Not very happy. And they don't care what they say. Either way, I've had a funny one in here. I thought he was giving it some work, not very happy. And it was the effing amazing. They really do. They get so excited or so not very happy. So at that point, it's the most important. Listen to the owner. What do they want? If they don't want what you've given them, it's like going to a pizza shop and saying, I'll have cheese and tomato pizza and sprinkle it with chicken. The open box has got pepperoni on it. Well, I didn't want pepperoni, did I? It's exactly the same. You go to the hairdressers and do your hair the wrong colour. You really do have to listen to the owner and everything will be fine. You can make loads of money. Loads of money. However much time you want to put into it, is how much money you'll make. Nothing's easy in life. Nothing. Anything you want to do is going to require some hard work. But it can be done. So that's it really. Three easy steps. Once you can groom, you can do it anywhere. Another one. When I did set up the dog grooming in my mum's bathroom, no it wasn't, it was I could drive. Well I could drive then, but anyway. Different place where I was grooming. I'm grooming in the garage, bathing upstairs, and what I did, thought because I learned from grooming in my mum's bathroom it didn't quite go down well with people. They got people. Collection and delivery, free. That way. They don't know where the dog's being groomed, do they? Turn up. I know what I'm doing with your dog. You've told me what? I'll bring it back in two hours. There you go. You can groom the dog anywhere. Free collection and delivery. This is quite expensive. You need to get insurance. Whatever you're going to do, you need insurance with your dogs. But anyway, just give you a few ideas. But you can make money grooming dogs. And that is how I've done it over the years. There we go. Next video, if I've done it. Nine ideas. How to make more money. Grooming your dogs. Links in the description below too to everything I use and that little website and blog posts and things.